Hi, Cancer. It's me, G1 Writer with G1 Insights, and I am doing your life and love energy for the month of July 2019. This is a general reading, so check your birth chart. Check your Mars, your Mercury, your Jupiter, your Venus, your rising sign, your moon sign. Check all of those things, guys. It's very important because a lot of times when things don't resonate, it's because there's other things in our birth chart that is definitely influencing our energy, okay? So, Cancer, this is a very fertile, fruitful time for you, okay? This is perfect, perfect season for you to really build new projects, new ideas, creations, um, proposals, at some sort, okay? But this is really a good time where you'll be gaining access to brand new ideas. Um, you may feel like you want to start over, you want to do something new, you want to do something fresh, you want to move into a new home. Um, I just see and sense like a lot of rebirth for you, okay? Pay attention to your moon cycles, um, the cycles and rhythms of your body and how your energy is, how your energy fluctuate with the different moon cycles. June, July 2nd, excuse me, give or take a day, there's a new moon solely eclipsing your sign. And that, just like any eclipse, it can be very draining. But for you, as draining as it could be, um, I feel like you guys are still going to be really taking the time to think some things over. You know, really deciding if you want to move on with this new life of yours. This is going to be a very spiritual season for you, Cancer. This is not going to be like your typical um, new moon every single month, especially because it's the new moon so eclipsing your sign. So expect some turnovers, you know, um, whether it's good or bad. Expect some turnovers for you. Um, July 3rd, we have Venus going to your sign, so that may highlight, you know, some areas of your world when it comes to love. In fact, that's helping everybody right now <laughs> when it comes to love. Everybody want to get freaky deaky and be happy and make love. So this is really, really interesting. Um, and I'm, I'm glad to see all of this beautiful energy in your birth, in your energy right now just because I feel like it's allowing everyone else to just relax. But what I love and what I don't like about you, Cancer, is that you don't forget shit. <laughs> and that could be a good thing and a bad thing. You don't forget nothing, like whether it's good or bad. You don't care. You you remember everything, every single detail. You remember the pain. You remember the happiness. You remember the celebration. You remember the crying. You remember everything. And so my advice to you, my love, is to focus more on the happy stuff that you remember. Try not to pay too much attention to the negative things that you remember or how someone disrespected you, how someone hurt you. Um, I feel like this is going to be a, good, a great time to reconnect with people that you haven't seen in a while. Um, old friends, old family members, people that you just been having a rough time keeping in contact with. This is going to be really, really amazing for you, okay, um, when it comes to your partnerships. But keep in mind, in the background, though, your spirituality is really waving to you. Like, it really is yearning for your attention. Um, sorry, guys, something is in my eye. Okay, but I do see a lot of healing here, a lot of healing taking place. Um, there's going to be some crying along the way, and I feel like just because, I feel like you guys have really taken, like, inventory of your life. Like, you're really sitting back analyzing, thinking how far you've gone, where you came from, um, where you're going. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing that you're reevaluating, you know, your goals and things that you desire. That's really, really good, you know. Um, but don't get stuck. You know, like, think about it, but don't get stuck. It's, it's, this is not a season to get stuck. Even though, on the contrary, <laughs> Mercury is going retrograde, so it may cause you to feel stuck. Oh, who that scared me? <laughs> That's so bug. Sorry. So, even though that may cause you to feel a little weary, feel a little down, feel a little drained, okay, this is the season to take action, okay? Mercury retrograde does have a way of slowing things down, causing delays, you know, having communication mess up. And Mercury doesn't do well in your sign. <laughs> it does not do well. What it does is make people emotional. And, you know, communication, can some, it goes from being really logical and clear-headed to being really, like, emotional. Well, you hurt me. Why did you lie? You know, so instead of doing that, 
<laughs> instead of crying and wishing that someone was honest with you or that they didn't hurt you, this is probably the time to just really truly surround yourself around people that's going to naturally uplift you. So team up with a fire sign like an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone who can literally just make you laugh and nothing really. Um, or an earth sign, right? Like as corny as Capricorn can be sometimes with their funny, weird, strange sense of humor, they can literally still bring out some things in you. And that's interesting because they are your opposite sign. And even when it comes down to their full moon, we have another eclipse in their full moon this month, okay, around the 15th and 16th of July. So around that time, that's probably when you're going to get the clarity, like that aha moment where you, oh my God, sorry, <laughs> these mosquitoes be scaring me, okay. So that's going to be the moment where it's like you knew it all along, you knew that you had to make a change, and for some reason you just didn't, but you're going to be heavily reminded of your values this season. Keep in mind though, my love, the universe is blessing you with some tremendous amounts of prosperity, um, big, big, big abundance of prosperity, like you're going to be tremendously blessed, my love, and that is good because that can, maybe that will help lift your spirits a little bit, right? But again, about that third week of July, you'll definitely have like more clarity you'll be able to move around a bit more you'll be able to express yourself in a more practical logical approach instead of crying about it you'll be able to just simply talk about it so that's going to be good so if you do feel for some reason that there's a lot of chaos or confusion the first week or two of july Trust me, this moment will pass. It's only temporary. I know Mercury retrograde sucks for a lot of people, but I'm telling you, this is probably one of the best Mercury retrogrades, and I'm looking forward to it just because it is not going retrograde in Virgo um, or Leo. It's going to start in your sign, but it's going to end in Leo, which is still good because by the time it's ending, our clarity returns, so we won't be so emotional. We'll be rather funny, want to have fun, want to have more sex, want to fall in love. So we won't be really thinking too much about what hurts. Like even at the very beginning of July, we have Mars going into Leo. So all of these different energies floating around in the, the first few weeks of July, trust me, you really, really want to wait. Okay, even though Mercury retrograde will be done by the 31st of July, give it until um, around the 10th to the 15th of August for you to be able to have that extra clarity. Please don't try to sign any contracts during the season um, unless it's absolutely necessary. Like if it's like life threatening or if it's like a big emergency and it's like I have to do this, then by all means just double check your paperwork. That's what I'm saying. Just double check your paperwork. Um, research everything. If somebody tells you something or if you go to the doctor perhaps and they're telling you, look, you need to have surgery, just get a second opinion. That's what I'm saying because sometimes during Mercury Retrograde, Stuff like that happens. We agree to something, and then a few weeks or a few months later, we end up regretting it. Um, so, because again, any type of retrograde just slows things down. But Mercury is a planet that represents communication and our wealth, and it does not do well in your sign. So, what that means is that there's going to be a lot of old issues coming up to the surface, a lot of old wounds, a lot of old thoughts. So it's very imperative that you really team up with people um, or surround yourself around people who want to just simply put a smile on your face. People that don't really have anything negative to say. They just want to party with you and make you laugh and have fun. Um, there's no jealousy. There's no attachments. There's just all love and light, you know. It's very important that you allow yourself to live in the moment this season um, try not to take things too seriously. Like, if you fucked up and you signed the wrong paper, just laugh at yourself. Like, oh, my God, maybe I was rushing. You know, like, don't take it too seriously. Like, try your best not to get too upset. Because that full moon in Capricorn will make you feel a bit more serious about your lifestyle, about your life skills, about your home environment. All right? So... There's anything that you need, anything that you want to work on, do it, Cancer. By any means necessary, just do your research. So I love you, Cancer. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, leave a comment below or love and light. And I will see you guys next time, okay? And have a beautiful week wherever you are in this beautiful universe. Enjoy it. Bye.